ever wished for a hassle-free path for making a jaw-dropping environment inside of Unreal Engine 5? Yes, today is your day. I am excited to introduce you the game-changing tool Polygon Flow Dash. This plugin will be your ultimate co-pilot by making your 3D environment creation journey smoother than ever. So stay tuned as we about to explore the magic of Polygon Flow Dash and redefine the way you approach 3D environment design inside Unreal Engine 5. So let's jump right into it. So let's start it from the scratch. Here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5 and after you installing the Polygon Flow Dash, here you will be see this little small icon of Dash. If you don't, just go to edit plugin and just search for dash and just enable this one and restart your program after restarting now the thing is i am not going to use all these tools over here to create my environment so i will simply click on this and just click anywhere on your editor and click f11 to maximize your screen now we will work without hiding our screen so simply drag this so simply so simply drag this here and now we will work on this we don't need any other tools okay so let's start from the terrain so search for terrain here and here you can see create terrain okay just click on this and here we have a terrain and this is the option for this one okay we can change anything of this terrain so let's scale it up like here you can see if you drag it like this you can scale it up okay so i'm going to make it like three and also you can change its uv scale okay so i'm going to make it three next i'm going to use height i want to make it like little bit hill so i will increase the scale of height and as you can see the height is increasing okay and if i change the value of sync you can see the changes after you satisfy with the terrain let's go for the material so here you can see there is a mega scan bridge icon over here so simply click on this and everything will be shown to you whatever you have downloaded in this project okay so i'm going to use this specific material so what i will do i will simply press ctrl and drag and drop to our terrain and here you can see lots of option here change our terrain so i am going to increase the tiling by 3 or you can increase or decrease whatever your wish okay you can change the hue here everything all the options are here in one dash if i go close you can see here this is looking amazing so let's add some water here and now i am going to search for plane and here we have create primitive so simply click on this here you can get a plane so simply scale it up and you can change its position whatever you want so before that let's apply the water material okay so search for water and you can see set water material on selected object so simply click on this and that's all guys you can see the water is here so let's zoom it out and we will cover all over the landscape after this let's add some grasses over here and populate our landscape so that it will look beautiful so for that first i'm going to use some small grasses we will work layer by layer so first i'm going to use this one you can see this one okay so simply control and drag and drop in your landscape and here you have option scatter here scatter on selected so i'm going to click on scatter here and now you can see guys the plant or the grass is spread all over the landscape inside the water and everywhere okay so let's control this this is the magic of this specific plugin let's see what i'm going to do okay so as you can see the grasses are also inside the water so search for click on this okay just click on if you don't find this one just click on this grass and click here and you will see the option so let's click on this and search for height okay and if i increase its value can you see the changes so i will keep it like this just near the water also i don't want grasses over this highest peak of this landscape so for that i will decrease its value like this one and you can see the grasses are coming near to the water okay this is 
an amazing tool guys must use this so this much near to the water i want this grasses now let's change other parameters of this grass so first i'm going to increase its density like 0 0.8 okay yeah fine and then i'm going to scale it minimum scale will be like 0 0.1 and maximum will be 1 okay that's fine for me uh, i want to increase the density a little bit like 0 0.9 yeah and here we have fall off option if we increase its value you can see actually let me show you yes you can see if you see clearly here we have some small plants also some large plants so that's the profit of this and also i'm searching for brick and let's increase its value and you will see the magic let me apply 0.5 you can see the changes now okay that's amazing guys i'm happy with this one so now i'm going to close this and now i'm going to and now i want to add some more different grasses near this one okay so same process and play around the options and everything so i'm going to use this one so simply control and place on the landscape and scatter okay here also you can see the grasses are on the water also for that same process guys don't worry about that same process you have to do search for height and i will apply 0.3 okay i know you may not see the grasses because there is not much grasses here so let's increase it like 0.9 and now you can see all the grasses okay I will decrease the value of this minimum skill 0 0.1 and maximum will be 2 actually this grass is not looking so much good so I'm not going to use this grass too much I will add different grass here so again I'm going to use another grass I will speed up the process here you just take your time and do the same process after completing the grass and all the foliages as you can see this is looking awesome and this area is looking little bit fair because you know if you go close this is looking good okay so let's populate some more things let's add some rock all around this lake so for that again same process guys you have to follow the same thing that's why i always say this process is so much easy so same press ctrl and drop and press this scatter here yes as you can see this is all over the landscape so let's again search for height and increase the value and you can see the rocks are disappear from the water and i'm going to use in this area again from the top area i will disappear some rocks like 0 0.3 okay this much is fine for me yeah this much and yes one more thing i will do that is i will increase the scale like 0 0.4 and maximum will be 2 okay 3 is also okay and let's decrease the density 0 0.05 sorry 0 0.05 and let's search for break and increase the value like 0 0.3 you can decrease some amount of rocks over here if i apply one this is completely finished so 0 0.5 each okay for me okay that's fine guys now you can see this is looking so awesome and one more thing i will show you guys actually there is lots of tools over here i will show in my next video otherwise this video will be too much long okay after this i'm going to use some trees over here to surround this water lake over here so let's for now i will minimize this one and i have some mega scan tree this one so go to geometry by wood painter and i'm gonna select only four trees from this okay and drag and drop here anywhere okay anywhere on the landscape just don't worry about this and now again 
F11 maximize your scene and search here for scatter okay and here you can see surface scatter scatter vegetation debris garbage and much more so click here and as you can see this is showing that surface and scatter so scatter will be our tree and all the trees are selected all four trees are selected so if I click plus here you can see four I mean four number of trees are there okay and then we have surface so click the landscape first and click on surface that's all you can see the trees are spreaded all over the landscape if I increase its density like 0 0.8 wow you can see guys again you can see lots of trees are on the water okay so let's change the height again search for height sorry and increase its value as you want means we don't want any tree on the water actually okay now you can see this is perfect this is a perfect environment okay perfect water some rocks near the water some grasses and everything and let me go to fall off and increase the value a little bit like 0 0.4 is fine for me okay so this is it guys we will see much more tools about this polygon flow dash there are lots more things to show you i am so much excited to show you all the tools over here this is so much easy recently from one month i am using this tool only for my filmmaking work for my other projects so i wish you will also use this tool so if you also excited to use this tool for save your time and create a breathtaking scene just click on the link down below they have lots of different subscriptions plans for everyone so must use this tool give me your feedback how you like these tools or not and see you again with much more tools and much more environment creation tutorials using Unreal Engine 5 see you again and the next time have a nice day